Week 14 is here, and I'm back with six of my favorite plays, including a couple workhorse running backs. I'm going to be jamming in my lineups. What value tight end am I looking at this week? And my favorite quarterback receiver pairing for Week 14, who is it? Belly up to the Fantasy Bar and find out. Welcome back, Loyal Bar patrons. Week 14 is here, and I'm here with six of my favorite plays covering both Vandal and DraftKings. Thank you, as always, for stopping by the Fantasy Bar. Now, guys, as always, before we get started this week, do me a favor. Click that thumbs up button on YouTube. That is our tip jar. The video absolutely free. That's all we ask of you is hit that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and get notified when the videos are coming out. Now, before we look at week 14, let's take a quick look back at week 13. Some good, some bad. Obviously, a big miss with Austin Eckler. That game got away from the Chargers very quickly. And even in garbage time, he wasn't able to put up numbers. And Evan Ingram, also a disappointment. Kind of mad with our Chicago stack of Trubisky and Robinson. The touchdowns went via the running backs, but a big hit on our value skinny stack there with Jonathan Taylor and Kiki Cutie. Now, let's move on to week 14 here. Looks like a fun slate, big slate of games here. No more buys on the docket, so let's jump in at the running back position. We're going to go right back to Chicago here with David Montgomery. Now, I liked him last week. We mentioned him on the show. We liked the passing game there, but Montgomery was in a good spot, and guess what? He's in a good spot here once again this week, and the thing that really stood out to me, the pricing here on David Montgomery. We're talking about a guy that gets almost 100% of the work. I know Cordero Patterson works in and gets some of that work there for Chicago, but we're talking about a true workhorse running back here and we are paying middling prices here in the mid sixes to get that so i'm going to be all over that here once again with david montgomery another thing that stood out ownership early ownership projections not nearly as high as they thought they'd be here in this matchup for a guy playing as well as he has we're talking about a guy averaging almost 28 DraftKings points per game over these last two matchups against green bay and detroit well guess what it's another juicy matchup here with Houston allowing the second most fantasy points per game to the running back position. So once again, a fan of this Bears offense. I don't hate Trubisky. We're not going to go back there here again in the six pack this week. But I do love this spot. David Montgomery against the Houston Texans. All right, let's go to a wide receiver position. A guy I think has been a lot better than you realize, and that's Brandon Ayuk of the Niners. Now we know that Niners offense, if they're without their quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo, they're without their huge weapon in George Kittle, Debo Samuel, a little bit banged up here. I'm expecting him to play. But the point is, Brandon Ayuk playing some great football. Kind of took a little while to get acclimated, dealt with some COVID issues. But over his last four games played, 40 targets in that span. And a lot of those games with Nick Mullins, a guy we know is going to put the ball in the air and make things happen. So Ayuk finding the end zone as well. Touchdowns in three straight games. But this guy has been a model of consistency. If you're looking for a guy in cash games, the target should be enough for you. If not, about the 21 DraftKings points per game he has put up over the last four. Consistency is there. Touchdowns have been there. And I think we get a ceiling game here as well. Brandon Ayuk add it all up. Great, great price here on DraftKings. It's going to be a big part of my builds here in Week 14. All right, let's stay in that mid-range. Let's save you some more money at tight end. Mike Gusecki of the Dolphins. So a big matchup here for Miami. I'm really looking forward to this game against Kansas City. And we know Miami at their heart wants to run the ball. They want to play some defense. Obviously want to keep Patrick Mahomes and company on the sidelines. The problem is I don't know if they're going to be able to do that. Kansas City projected for four touchdowns in this game. So it may force Miami to throw a little bit more than they want to. And that'll be good news here for Kaseki. We know Devontae Parker, the alpha there. But Kaseki's really become the 1B to Parker's 1A. Season high in both targets and receptions last week. Looked great. Gets a lot of red zone targets. Second on the team in red zone targets this season. And the Chiefs, this is a position they have struggled with. They've been pretty good against wide receivers. So you know Parker going to get a lot of that defensive attention. You know Gaskin going to be a focus as well. I think that's going to mean good things and good opportunities here for Mike Kosecki. Second most fantasy points allowed over the last month here by Kansas City to the tight end position. Prices are fair here. Upside is huge. Love Mike Kosecki in the spot against Kansas City. All right, back to the running back position. Promised you two workhorses. We gave you Montgomery. We're going to go to my boy in Jacksonville, James Robinson. Now you guys know I love me some J-Rob here, a guy that just gives you a great floor. In fact, 10 or more DraftKings points in every 
single game this season. So really giving you that floor you're looking for. And we know the ceiling is there as well. Got to put up many games in the 20s, and he's also gotten some games into the 30s. And I think this is a spot he could attack that 30 DraftKings point threshold. We look back all the way back to week two when barely any of us knew who the hell James Robinson was. 6.4 yards per carry against this Tennessee defense. And they have not done anything to make that defense better. In fact, I think it's gotten worse as we've gone along. And we just look at the last four weeks, giving up over 31 points per game here are the Titans. So I know this Jacksonville offense, not the most explosive offense out there, but the playmakers at wide receiver should help. DJ Chark back in that lineup should help. And this defense is that bad. James Robinson should be in a good spot here once again against this Titans defense. Moving on, pick number five here in week 14 of the six pack. We're gonna go to the wide receiver position with Michael Thomas of the Saints. So pricing really stood out here. We're continuing to buy low on these Saints. Michael Thomas, Alvin Kamara, we saw bounce back a little bit last week, but anytime I can get a guy of this caliber at low sevens prices, I'm gonna continue to do it. So we get another week of Taysom Hill, and I don't think that's bad news here for Michael Thomas. These guys have shown an excellent rapport. We've had some great games together. Didn't need to do much in that Denver game, but both games against Atlanta, very productive here. And we think about Philly, and I know Darius Slay, you guys love to tell me how good he is. Well, I'm gonna disagree. I don't think he's a shutdown corner, and we've seen him get absolutely dominated by guys like Devontae Adams, DK Metcalf. We know Michael Thomas is in that stratosphere of wide receivers. So that secondary is awful. They are good against the run, bad against the pass. I think the Saints find some success through the air here. And I think Michael Thomas continues to get 10 plus targets here at 7,100 on DraftKings and only 7,300 on FanDuel. He gives one of the best by low opportunities of the high end guys here in week 14. All right, it's time to take a look at my favorite play for week 14. But before we do that, guys, we're gonna continue our Beast of the Week contest, absolutely free to play. All you gotta do, get in the comment section right below the video, make sure you've hit that thumbs up button and guess fantasy points for my favorite play of the week. The closest guests will win themselves either a free week of Roto Grinders Premium, gonna give you access to everything, not only football, you got NBA right around the corner, PGA Tour Golf, gives you access to all of those sports, everything behind the paywall, absolutely free for a week to check it out. Or if you're already a loyal subscriber, we will send you a free Roto Grinders t-shirt. So without further ado, let's take a look. My favorite play for week 14, you know, Mass, the beast of the week. All right, beast time. We still owe you a quarterback. We're going to correlate with Michael Thomas. We're going to go with quarterback Taysom Hill of the Saints, this week's beast of the week. Now, Taysom been fantastic, and there's been talk of Drew Brees returning. That's not going to happen till at least week 15, so we get another week of Taysom as the starting quarterback. And this guy, like I said, been great, averaging almost 23 DraftKings points per game. We're closing in on a 4X return on those numbers, and this is a guy that we know is going to deliver on the ground, giving us at least 10 carries in every start, giving us at least 40 rushing yards in every start, giving us multiple touchdowns in every single start. And Philly, like I said, they are vulnerable through the air. They are also vulnerable to rushing quarterbacks. We've seen guys have some huge games against them. Lamar Jackson, Daniel Jones twice. But what does Taysom do best? He runs in the Eagles. Second most rushing yards allowed to quarterbacks this season. This team is a mess. I know Jalen Hurts is in there. Gonna give them a little inspiration. Maybe they'll play a little bit better than they have. But point is Taysom Hill, too cheap. Initial ownership projections have him under 5%. So anytime I can get a guy like that at that kind of ownership in this kind of matchup at these prices, sign me up any day of the week, making Taysom Hill easily my favorite play for week 14 and this week's beast of the week. All right, guys, that wraps up for week 14. As always, any comments, questions, feedback, that comment section is there for you. Also can reach out and follow me on Twitter at BeermakersFan. And if you'd like more expanded thoughts on the slate, from my boys Head Chopper, Notorious, and myself. Make sure you get over to Roto Grinders and check out the DFS OGs podcast. We talk every single game, our favorite plays, our favorite stacks, our favorite bets, a little bit of nonsense as well. If you haven't checked it out, go give it a listen. For rotogrinders.com, I am Beer saying salut. Best of luck here in week 14, guys. Back next week. We'll see you. Hey, thanks for checking out our videos. If you want more expert advice on DraftKings, FanDuel, or any other daily fantasy sports, make sure you check out the current videos playlist.